Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so you won't be left out in any video. Dear Julius Molina, I wronged people in this country two decades ago when I took part in heinous crimes. I have been trying to repay my debt to society for most of the years since. First, by successfully exposing corruption in jail, then by speaking to millions of school kids across this country to dissuade them from a life of crime. I am now dedicating my life to Patriotic Alliance, which puts ending gangsterism, but more importantly the conditions that lead to gangsterism in communities, at the top of its agenda. We must get our young people into the mainstream economy. I see this open letter as part of repaying my many debts to society. If I did not speak up to warn the people of South Africa, but especially our youth, against you, it would mean I have no love for this country Julius, you and I are not revolutionaries. We both know that. We both shop at the same Louis Vuitton and Gucci shops. We both have watches worth hundreds of thousands. We wear more money on our wrists than a miner at Americana will ever hold in his hands. This week you had the audacity to say that you wear Louis Vuitton to inspire the poor. But the poor get nothing out of you wearing flashy clothes. For people like us to call ourselves revolutionaries is an insult to history's real revolutionaries. Patrice Lumumba is rolling in his grave. Thomas Sankara wants to get out of his grave and take back his words that have found their way onto your whiskey swilling tongue. If simply wearing a beret makes you revolutionary, then my mum and all her friends have been revolutionaries for far longer than you. You have spent more money at any of your own lavish parties than Kenny Kenny never did, but Kenny never spent public money. It was his own money that he worked for openly. He never earned his money through misdirected tenders to shady companies that were hard to track. You bankrupted the ANC Youth League. You bankrupted Limpopo. You bankrupted yourself. Now you want to bankrupt what's left of South Africa. The difference between you and me is that you use politics to take money from the poor. I give money to politics. I am not seeking a position through politics. My name is not even on any list. But you are trying to get to parliament at all costs. Unlike what you married about me, I never received any government money. I never received any tenders. I was never a beneficiary in any bee deal. But you have never worked an honest day in your life to earn your own money. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know what it means. When the doors of government's treasury were slammed in your face, you went immediately to the poor with your cap in hand, promising them the world, when you needed their money to pay for your tax problems. You are like a man who steals a cell phone and then goes back to his victim to ask for airtime. You exploit our people's genuine hunger for a better life. You want to nationalize the mines, but that will take huge amounts of public money to sustain, with no guarantees of profit. You will have to take money that we need right now to build houses and schools for poor people, and you will have to gamble with that money to build mines, nationalization is not woodwork. Will you be the one to look our old women in the eyes, and say that they can't have their houses today, because you want to invest in mines that will perhaps give us profits in 10 years' time? Our minerals will not crawl out of the earth by themselves. And we know that any profits will first have to survive going through your sticky hands before they reach the rest of us. Jacob Zuma's Nkandla upgrade was wrong on all fronts. But you also took taxpayers' money to demolish a 3 million rands house, in order to build a 16 million rands house in Santon. Your own EFF Commissar Andalink Satama criticized you for this very thing three years ago. Does he think you are no longer that man? None of us should be that naive. You have insulted so many of our people. You insulted Mambeki. You insulted Baba Budalesi. You insulted Naledi Panther. You had to apologize to all of them.